Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is Kahin from Sup Yoga with Kahin, and this is my little bubba Wesley. He's currently seven months old, and he'll be my co star for today's yoga practice. You're right, this is a mommy baby yoga class. So, I hope that you allow yourself to be playful and non judgmental today. Really allow yourself to go with the flow. Feel free to pause at any moment, take a break to feed your baby, and really have fun. You could always come back to practice later if ever they want. I'm just really grateful for you taking the time to show up on your mat and give yourself some love. So for your practice today, you will be needing some water. You'll be needing a baby carrier if ever you choose to practice with a baby carrier instead of having baby in your arms. Although if you don't have a baby carrier, it's totally fine. So let's have some fun and make your way to your mat and make sure baby has a comfortable and safe spot on your mat to practice with you. Let's get going. So we'll be starting our class today in a comfortable seated position. Important here that your little bubs be comfortable as well. So you can place them down in the floor in front of you on some blankets or maybe use a breastfeeding pillow to prop them up so they can play along with you. It gets a little bit more challenging as they grow older because they just want to wiggle around here. This little guy is now seven months old. <laughs> so just take a second as you start your practice to shut down the eyes. And just find five deep grounding breaths. Feel the stress melt away from your shoulders. And you slowly disconnect from what your morning or your day has consisted of so far. And become fully present and involved in this moment. As you deepen your breath. Ah. See if you can transfer over some of that calming and grounding energy to your little one. Beautiful. Slowly blink the eyes open. Give your little bubs a smile. Use the next inhale to reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, slowly draw your hands down. Maybe play tickle fingers as you come to play with their toes. Inhale, reach those arms back up. <gasps> Exhale, hands come back down. Always again listening to your bubs. Take a few more breaths just like that, reaching the arms up. Exhale, hands come back down. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, let the hands come down. This time, take your inhale. Draw the hands to the heart center. As you exhale, slowly press your thumbs in towards your sternum. And take a second here to set an intention for your practice. And maybe just whisper with your baby that you're grateful to have them here to practice with you. Beautiful. Let's place bubs down onto their sit bones or to the ground. Grab a hold of your feet, use your elbows in towards the thighs as you slowly press the legs open, leaning forward. <laughs> Ooh. Slowly opening through the hips here. Staying with your breath as you ground your sit bones to the floor. And using this time to play around with your little one. Really engaging with them, looking in their eyes and smiling. Yeah, maybe playing some butterfly kicks. Just like that. Oh, so comfy. Mommy does yoga, so baby does yoga. Beautiful. Lift your knees back up. Take the feet down towards the ground, about hip width distance apart. And then start to windshield wiper the knees side to side. Just awakening the back here. Rock it out. Really staying engaged with the baby as you look to them. Even if they start to wiggle and wobble, just stay present with that breath and keep that grounding presence, playful and light. Beautiful, take a few more rounds here, rocking it out side to side. There you go. Bubs can come back to the sit bones. Whoop. Wes is getting a little bit fussy here. We'll make our way into our tabletop position. 
Take an inhale, drop your belly, open up your heart. Exhale, round the spine. Keep going a few more times with the breath. Exhale, round the spine. Last one here. Inhale, come back to your neutral tabletop. Let's take the next breath to press the right heel back and away from us, toes to point down. Setting up for tiger pose, left fingertips will lift up and maybe you play with the fingers, drawing baby's attention. Find your stability here, using your core strength, hip strength, and shoulder strength. Exhale, come to tap elbow and knee together. Do two more, just like that. Inhale, extend and reach. Exhale to crunch. Inhale, extend and reach. Exhale to crunch. Inhale to lengthen for one breath. Take one more breath here, extending your arm and your leg and start to bend into your back knee. Like if you're holding a cup of tea and your foot stays stable and squared through the hips. Left arm will reach back. When you're ready, try to grab a hold of your ankle or your foot as you slowly begin that, to kick that foot into your hand. Find that back bend. Again, staying stable. One more breath here. Exhale, let that slowly go. Come back to your neutral tabletop. Step the fingertips forward as far as they can go. Puppy pose as you melt the heart down towards the ground. Right now my baby's feet are tickling my face. <laughs> Take two more deep grounding breaths here. And just notice how it feels to lengthen through the front line of the body, extending the breath. Shoulders are rolling back and opening. This is a great stretch for any mamas who are breastfeeding or bottle feeding when you're hunching forward. Slowly walk the hands back underneath as you find tabletop position. Find your stability in your hands and knees here. And then slowly reach your left leg back, toes to point down. Keep your hips squared, right fingertips will lift up. Big breath here, extending from fingertips all the way to the heels. Next breath, crunch elbow and knee together. Inhale to lengthen. Hi, Mother. <gasps> Exhale to crunch <laughs> elbow and knee. Oh, am I making you upset one more time? Exhale, crunch it in. This time, inhale and hold. <gasps> Start to bend into your back knee. Reach your right fingertips back. Try to grab a hold of that left foot. Find that back bend. Two more deep breaths. <laughs> oh, this is finding a forward fold. <laughs> And then slowly let that go. Come back to your neutral tabletop. Shift the hips all the way back. Child's pose. Wah, maybe the fingers come and play with baby's belly. Wah, let them roll around, do whatever they're feeling like doing. And staying mindful here in this practice that the baby is really in charge almost. You can play with them. You can stop and breastfeed at any point or bottle feed, whatever your bubba needs. You can walk away and come back later if they're getting a little bit frustrated. It's just nice to have these moments here that you can connect with your baby and do something for yourself. This is a great way to start showing them early that a nice meditation and grounding practice is an important part to a healthy life. Beautiful. Slowly rise back up. Oh. So we'll take our next part of the practice into a standing portion and I'm going to do so using my baby carrier. So you always have the option of keeping baby in your arms and just moving along doing the leg positions and balancing positions. I just really like to have my arms free so I can focus on really working out my, my legs. So I'll pause the video. You can go put your baby carrier on if you'd like or grab a sip of water and then we'll come back. All right, so now moving into the standing portion of our practice. I have Wesley in his baby carrier here, and we're gonna be moving along. So coming to the top part of your mat, finding mountain pose, draw the shoulders down away from the ears, gentle tilt of the pelvis forward as you stand tall. 
Use the next in-breath to reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands come back down. One more time. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come back down. Maybe play with the toes. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands come back down. Play with those little toes. This time, reach the arms up. Right hand grabs a hold of the left, left wrists. Find a little side body stretch here. Inhale, come back up. Move to the other side. Left hand takes the right wrists. Lengthening through side body. Inhale, come back up. Reach the arms. Exhale, cactus the arms out. Let the breath go through the mouth. Two more. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Like a lion. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms. This time, keep those cactus arms. Let the fingertips come down towards the ground as you round forward slightly. Two more times. Inhale, lift those hands up. Exhale, cactus and fingers down. Last one. Exhale. Beautiful. Reach the arms up. Deep breath in. Sink the hips down. Chair pose. Beautiful. Take your arms and get with your baby a little bit here. Make chair pose a little bit less uncomfortable. <laughs> you can shift the weight into your tippy toes. Start to lift the heels up off the ground. Nice. So strong, Mama. Exhale. Sink those heels back down. Shift the weight into the heels for a moment and see if you can lower the hips down two more inches. Oh. Hips lift up, come up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, lower the hips back, the heels back down. Beautiful. Arms reach up, standing tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Engage with baby, maybe we give a little hug. How you doing? Beautiful, let's work with the legs a little bit here. We'll reach the arms up, kick that right knee up in front of you, coming to 90 degrees. As you exhale, step that right foot all the way back to the back end of your mat. Setting up for high lunge, arms will sweep up. Feel the lengthening in that right hip flexor here. Sink those hips down just a bit lower. Beautiful. On the next in breath, lengthen the sides of your body. Exhale, start to cactus the arms, bending into the back knee. Let the back knee hover one inch off the floor. Two more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, lift. Exhale to sink. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, ground the back heel down. Open up the hips, open up the arms. Warrior two position. Turning the gaze over to those left middle finger. Right hand is reaching back. Shoulders away from the ears. Hold for a few breaths. You might engage a little bit with baby here. As you stay strong in that front leg. Next, inhale, straighten the front leg. Reach the arms up. Exhale, sink all the way back down. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Inhale. Exhale, sink it down. Beautiful. Lift my back heel up. Reach the arms up. High lunge. Right foot comes to meet the left top of the mat. Tadasana. Beautiful. Take a moment to walk it out. Engage with baby a little bit. Strong legs. And we'll be moving to the other side. Coming to your Tadasana. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. Left knee comes up to 90 degrees in front of you. As you exhale, step that left foot all the way back to the back end of your mat, setting up for a high lunge. Sweep the arms up when you're ready. Finding your breath here. Really feel the lengthening in that left hip flexor. Deep breath in, lengthen the sides of your body. And as you exhale, find that dip. Lower the back knee down about one inch off the floor. 
Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, dip it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, lower that back heel down. Find warrior two. Turn the gaze to those middle fingers. Maybe you'll take this moment to engage with baby a little bit. As you stay strong in that front leg, deep bend. Next inhale, takes the hands up overhead as you straighten the front leg. Exhale, sink it back down, warrior two. Inhale, arms come up, straighten that leg. Exhale, sink it down. Inhale, arms come up. This time, sink it down. Arms come up, pivot on that back foot, lift the heel up, high lunge. Left foot meets the top of the mat, Tadasana. Beautiful. Take a few breaths to walk it out. Let baby have a little change of scenery. And then we'll come back to the top of the mat when we're ready. Finding Tadasana once again. Slowly start to inhale, reach your arms up. Coming on to the ball of that right foot, see if you can open up your knee. Finding a tripod stance with the leg into a tree pose position. This can be where your tree pose is today. Or maybe you'll lift that foot up, coming higher up onto the thigh. If you choose to move the leg up, make sure your foot does not land on the knee. You can always replace using one hand. Keep those hips squared in your tree pose. Two more breaths, wherever you are. Now, whichever variation you chose, slowly start to lift that foot off of the inner thigh, opening the hip up. So I'm creating a 90 degree shape as I open the leg. Isolating my glute muscles, I'll slowly start to kick my leg out. Nice work. Exhale, close that down. Two more. Inhale, kick it out. Exhale, come back to that 90 degree shape. Last one. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Draw that right knee back into 90 degrees in front of you. And then step it back to the back edge of your mat. You're in a high lunge position. Big breath here. Oh, hi, baby. And on the next exhale, start to open up the feet on the wide edge of your mat. Wide, ed wide edge of your mat. Heels will come in, toes to point out. Cactus the arms out. Got a squat. Sink those hips down just a bit lower, pressing the knees open. Ooh, you might find a few bounces here. Feel the heat building in through the body. Stay with your breath. Stay engaged with baby. Hi, Leslie. On the next inhale, shift the weight into your right leg and slowly start to pivot on the ball of the back foot. Reach the arms up, right knee is bent in the front, left leg is extended back. Feel the lengthening through that left hip flexor. Two more breaths. And slowly step your way forward. Draw the left knee up to 90 degrees in front of you. Beautiful. We'll be moving like we did in that other position on the other leg. Taking that knee from 90 degrees in front of you and opening that knee up nice and wide to the side. Take an inhale. Lengthen that left leg out. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, extend the leg out. Exhale, bend into the knee. Last one, inhale to open, exhale to close. Find that tree pose variation, maybe you come in the tripod stance, or find your full tree. Make sure that if the foot lands on the knee, you readjust. Whoop. Keep those hips square here. Staying strong in that bottom foot. Maybe playing with baby if you need some engaging. And stay with your breath. 
Two more breaths. Slowly make your way back. Find Tadasana at the back of your mat. Beautiful. On the next inhale, reach your arms up overhead, deep, opening through side body. Exhale, step your right foot to the back edge of your mat, high lunge. One more breath here. Exhale, ground the back heel down, warrior two. On the next inhale, flip your front palm, slowly and gently exalt your warrior. So I'm not really finding a back bend here just to protect baby's spine, but I'm reaching that top arm up. Inhale, come back through your warrior two. Straighten your front leg and start to bend into your back knee, pivot the feet, find skater lunge at the back edge of your mat. Bending in that back leg here, my left toes are pointing up to the sky. Nice. Exhale, sweep it, skater lunge, bending into the left knee, right toes to point up. One more on each side. Strong mama legs. And switch it back, bending into that left knee. Wonderful. This time, turn all your toes to the top edge of your mat, bending into your right knee. Reach the arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Fantastic. Deep bend in that front knee, look over your middle finger. Two more breaths. How are you doing great, Bella? Uh -huh. oh. Flip your front palm, slowly exalt that warrior. Uh -huh. Ooh. Gently lift the chest back up, arms come back to warrior uh -huh. two. Start to bend in that back knee. Find skater lunge, bending into the left knee. Right toes point up. And sweep your way back, bending into the right knee, left toes to point up. One more time to the left. And then to the right. Beautiful. Straighten both your legs. All toes point in the same direction. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come back down. Beautiful. Walk your feet together. Tadasana. I think we're done for the standing portion of our practice. We broke a sweat. We'll make our way back down to the ground for a nice little cool down. Oh, oh, oh. So take a moment to take off your baby carrier, if you took your baby carrier. Beautiful. So coming back down to the sit bones. We'll take the legs up nice and wide here. Use your next inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, start to hinge at the hips, reaching the crown of the head forward. Keep the spine nice and long as you start to fold towards your baby. Starting to engage with the baby just a little bit. Great opportunity to reach for some kisses as you lengthen through the back line of the leg. Let your toes point up to the sky here. The breath starts to calm down. Heart rate come back to its regular. Mm. Inhale, reach the arms up. This time, bend into the right knee. Take the right sole of the foot to the inside of the left thigh. One more breath here. Exhale, start to fold over your left leg. Inhale, reach the arms up. Take your right hand back behind you. Slowly press the hips up. Baby wild thing. Oh, hi. Exhale, come back down. Nice. This time, open up that right leg. Take the uh, left leg. Comes inside the right thigh this time. Oh, sorry, mama brain moment. <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, start to fold over your right thigh this time. Really yeah, staying playful with baby, listening to their needs. Is that good? Is that good? 
Inhale, come back up. Left hand comes back behind you. Press those hips up. Exhale, come back down. Beautiful. We're going to move into a supine position here. So grab a hold of your baby, being mindful of your baby's age and what your baby can do. So maybe baby stays on the ground in this, this time, but if your baby has good head control, you can come all the way onto the sit bones. And we're going to use the core a little bit here. So taking your baby up into your arms. Start to slowly come down one vertebrae at a time towards the back. Oh. I'm going to keep my bubble standing on my belly. <laughs> or maybe he comes to sit down if he wants to. Soles of the feet are a few inches away from my sit bones. And on the next inhale, I'll press my hips up towards the sky, finding bridge pose. Ooh, Wesley likes doing this just for the up and down motion. As you exhale, slowly lower down, one vertebra at a time, but let the bum hover off the ground. Inhale, press those hips up. Exhale, lower down. Ooh. Inhale, and open. Exhale, lower down. Stay strong in those legs. One more time. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, lower down. Ooh. Inhale to lift. Shift your weight into your left leg. Right leg reaches up to the sky. We'll do two more just like that. As you exhale, dip those hips down. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift up. Last one. Strong left leg. Exhale, lower that right foot down. This time, moving into the right leg. Reach the left leg up to the sky. Exhale to lower. <laughs> Inhale, press back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale to lower. Last one. Beautiful. Left leg comes back down. Lower the hips back to the floor. Sit baby onto your belly. Letting their back recline onto your legs. Allow your knees to come together, soles of the feet to come out wide. Just a few breaths to readjust the spine here. And then you can sit the baby up a little bit straighter. Let your knees come towards the sky. And then windshield wiper the knees side to side. Move slowly with the breath. to center and stillness and we'll find our way into our final resting Shavasana here so if baby's comfortable coming onto your belly you can let them come and play on you finding whichever shape feels best for you today <laughs> extending that right leg to the top right corner of your mat left leg to the top left corner <laughs> And take these last few moments to connect with your baby, connect with yourself. And thanking yourself for making your way towards your mat, even though it wasn't the typical yoga practice you might have experienced before having a baby. We're really just cherishing these moments together. Slowly make your way onto either side of the body. If you'd like to stay in your Shavasana, this is always a great option if ever you are breastfeeding your baby. You can do the sideline position for a bit and maybe you'll be able to catch a little bit of more of a snooze. And then slowly you can make your way back to seated when you're ready. <sighs> 
Taking baby on towards your knees. Allow the hands to come down towards baby's thighs or around their belly. Let's take one big breath together <laughs> through the nose. Let it go through the mouth. <laughs> Thanking your little partner for doing yoga with you. <laughs> And thanking you, Mama, for committing this time for yourself. <laughs> I hope to see you on your mats once again. From my heart to yours, and namaste. Thank you so much for joining us in our practice, guys. It was such an honor. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit subscribe so you can join us and be notified when I upload new videos. New classes are up every few days. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye.